now that we've evaluated, diagnosed it, we do want to get everyone kind of back to life, back to school, back to sports. So what is the recovery uh, process look like and kind of what's the protocol for, for treating someone who has a concussion? It starts with the um, evaluation. Um, if there's a, a baseline that's helpful, and we can go over that later, um, either on the sideline or in the office, we generally use um, a tool called a SCAT or a SCAT. Right now, it's the SCAT five. Okay. Um, it's a it's a sideline concussion assessment tool. It's just a, a way for us to try and I mentioned it's a clinical diagnosis, right. but it's a way for us to keep some objective evidence so that visit to visit we can see um, how many symptoms do you have, how severe are they, and these are subjective. The patient tells us, and then we do. Uh, memory evaluation, uh, um, we do balance testing. Okay. And so it's not perfect. Right. It's what we have. Okay. Um, like I said, it's mainly a clinical diagnosis, so you need uh, a physician trained in working with concussions um, for the subtleties. But it, it is a standardized tool we use. Once we use that, that part is used not only for the initial evaluation, but the follow up and the management. So we start with education, okay, how old is the patient? So if it's a child, we talk about where are they in school. Um, they may need to miss a couple days. Right. Okay, anything that you do that's worsening the symptom that you're having, increasing the severity, is not good. So if it's watching TV, if mm. it's playing with your phone, right. if it's um, reading a textbook, if it's uh, looking at a computer screen, all these things are known to worsen symptoms of a concussion and you want to give yourself that rest.